Good day class. Our lesson for today is all about human sexuality. At the end of this module, you will be able to differentiate sex and gender in understanding gender issues, encourage respect for a person's sexual orientation and gender identity, understand gender-based violence and abuse in the context of the overall aspiration for social justice, freedom, and democracy. So let's talk about gender and sexuality. Let us define first what is sex. Sex does not simply refer to the sexual activity about the person's biological and physiological characteristics at birth. Everyone is born with a biological sex, a girl, boy, or intersex. Hormones, estrogen, testosterone, chromosomes XX and XY, genitals, vagina and penis, vagina for the female and penis for the male, gonads, ovaries for female and testicles for male, and among others. Then gender, on the other hand, is defined by our self-concept or sociocultural norms based on our biological sex at birth. Males are commonly perceived to have masculine, while females have feminine characteristics. For example, over the years, society dictates which jobs are suited for men and women. Women are encouraged to take jobs in nursing, garments, electronic industry, etc., while men tend to gravitate to relatively hard labor jobs like engineering, construction, and auto mechanic. Let us also define what is sexuality. As said by the World Health Organization's unofficial definition, it is a central aspect of being human throughout life and encompasses sex, gender identities and role, sexual orientation, eroticism, pleasure, intimacy, and reproduction. Sexuality is experience and expressed in what? In thoughts, in fantasies, in desires, in beliefs, in attitudes, in values, behaviors, practices, rules, and relationships. But not all of this class ay nai-express itong mga dimensions na ito. Not all of them. The sexuality ay pwedeng ito ay influensya ng paligid natin yeah, in terms of sa, sa interaction natin with biological, psychological, social, economic, political, cultural, ethical, uh, legal, historical, religious, and spiritual factors. So, tignan natin yung gender and social construction. Ang gender, it is a social construct. Ito yung, uh, it is, uh, gender is a part of the social structure of society. So, ibig sabihin, kung at ating titignan, ang mga kababaihan noon ay, uh, ang hanggang ngayon, ang pananaw ng, uh, ang structure dyan, ang social, is, uh, ang social structure dyan is, ang mga babae ay dapat nasa loob lang ng bahay, sila yung nagmamanage sa kanilang tahanan, nagmamanage sa kanilang pamilya, while ang mga lalaki, ano, ay they are in the outside world. Sila yung nagpo-provide ng lahat ng needs ng family. Sila yung mas may mabigat na responsibility. Yan yung tinatawag nating social structure. Yan yung gender. Yan yung social structure natin. So, kadalasan, women are common viewed as weak. No? Mahina and emotional. But ngayon, from time to time, generation to generation, nagbabago yan. No? Transition, kumbaga. So, hindi na lang ngayon men are uh, uh, hindi na lang yung mga kalalakihan ang nasa politics. Hindi na lang yung mga kalalakihan ang nasa uh, Philippine National Police. Something like that. So, uh, yun yung transition ngayon. Yun yung pagbabago. Again, gender is a social structure of society. Kung papaano ba tignan ng society, kung ano yung structure ng society pagdating sa kababaihan at kalalakihan. So, gender ang tawag dyan. It is a social structure. Then, what are the effects of these gender roles of women and men? So, the gender construct in society stereotypes men's rules, identities, and attributes. 
It places expectations on men not based on his own choice or decision. It also puts a necessary burden on men. The gender rules assigned to women, on the other hand, results in violence against women, exclusion, discrimination, marginalization, and exploitation. So, yung ito yung naging epekto, no? Dahil nga ang mga kababaihan ay sila yung nakikitang mahina sa society, walang kapasidad na mag-lead. So, it uh, resorts, ano, doon, uh, doon sa tinatawag nating violence against women. Diyan nagkakaroon ng discrimination. But again, gaya ng nabanggit natin kanina, from time to time, nagkakaroon ng transition nagkaroon ng pagbabago hindi na tinitignan ng mga kababaihan ngayon na mahina bagkos sila pa ngayon yung mas in demand ano? uh, international ano? so that's the effect of this gender rules of men, uh, women and men so nagkakaroon ng stereotype so if you say stereotype yun yung basic impression Ngayon, there is a consolidated anti-discrimination bill na naipasa sa Kongreso ng Pilipinas. Now, i, now ay uh, nakapending yan. So, yun yung SOGI bill. So, ang SOGI bill na ipinasa sa Philippine Congress, it defines sexual orientation as the direction or emotional sexual attraction or conduct towards people of the opposite sex, male and female, heterosexual, of the same sex or homosexual, of both sexes or bisexual. It is different from sexual behavior, which refers to the manner in which we experience and express our sexuality. So, yun yung sexual behavior. Ito yung manner natin in which we experience and express our sexuality. Mapababae, mapalalaki. Sexual orientation is about our innermost concept of self as male, female, and blend of both or neither. So, kagaya ng uh, isang lalaki, uh, based sa mga napapanood natin, based sa mga experience ng uh, mga homosexuals or bisexuals hindi nila nai-express ano hindi nila naipapakita yung kung kung ano talaga sila yung kanilang sexual orientation hindi nila naipapakita yung iba nililihim nila hindi yung iba naman karamihan na ngayon ay naipapakita naman na nila yung kanilang sexual orientation sa side man ng babae o sa side ng lalaki so, the key to understanding sexual orientation. So, paano ba ma natin maintindihan ang sinasabi nating sexual orientation? So, sabi dito, it depends on how we answer. Who am I attracted to? So, sa side ng lalaki at sa babae, ang tanong dyan, to understand what is sexual orientation, kanino ka nga ba attracted? Kanino ka nga ba nagkakagusto? So, lesbians, gays, bisexuals, heterosexuals. Pag heterosexuals or straight or asexuals are persons who have identified themselves according a sexual orientation. According to a sexual orientation. Generally, pag sa lesbians naman, are women who are attracted to both males and Females. Sa heterosexuals, they are attracted to the opposite sex. While asexuals are attracted naman sa none or lack attraction to a male, female or both. So, asexuals are, they are not uh, attracted or lack attraction sa babae at sa lalaki. Sexual orientation is distinct from gender identity. So, magkaiba yan, yung dalawang bagay na yan. Many gay men do not necessarily feel that they belong to a wrong gender. So, sabi nga sa kanta, I am born this way. 
No? So, gender identity refers to the personal sense of identity as characterized among others by manners of clothing, yan, inclination, and behavior in relation to masculine or feminine conven conventions. So, yan yung gender identity. So, sense of identity. At naipapakita ito sa pamamagitan ng, ng attitude sa pananamit no? sa behavior ng isang tao. So, the key to understanding gender identity, of course, kung ating titignan, iba yung, uh, yung uh, katawan, yung built ng katawan ng lalaki at ng uh, katawan ng isang babae. Ngayon, it will come from answering how do you see yourself relative to your body. Paano natin titignan yung uh, Uh, kung paano natin tingnan yung ating sarili based doon sa ating katawan bilang isang tao. So, transgender people are examples, persons who have expressed their non-conformist gender identity. So, limbawa, yung mga transgender, di ba? Kaya nga sila uh, nagpapapalit, ano? nagpapatransplant. Kasi, yun yung pagtingin nila sa kanilang uh, katawan, no? That in their heart, sila ay babae. In their heart, sila ay lalaki. So, being transgender, however, does not suggest any specific sexual orientation. Hence, they may identify as straight, gay, lesbian, bisexual. Meanwhile, the term transgender is also evolving and has also taken a broader meaning referring to individuals who defy prevailing perception of gender or those who identify themselves as doing so. So, in relation to this gender expression is how a person acts or articulates one's gender identity to others. This may be expressed through behavior, clothing, haircut, voice, or body appearance. So, a key to understanding gender expression is to answering the question, how do I see myself. So, we have some useful terminology definitions. Una, we have transgender, a term for people whose gender identity, expression, or behavior is iba from those typically associated with their assigned sex at birth. So, yan yung transgender. Ano? It is a broad term and is good for non-transgender people to use Trans is shorthand for transgender. So, kailangan daw dapat sabihin natin transgender. No? So, transgender man. So, a term for a transgender individual who currently identifies as a man. Sa part ito ng uh, mga uh, lesbian na nagpa-transplant, alimbawa, naging transgender man. Then next, sa part naman ng lalaki, we have transgender woman, a term for a transgender individual who currently identifies as a woman. Mayroon naman transsexual. It is an older term for people whose gender identity is different from their assigned sex at birth who seeks to transition. So, may transition from male to female or female to male. So, that is transsexual. Next, we have cross-dresser. It is a term for people who dress in clothing traditionally or stereotypically worn by the other sex, but who generally have no intent to live full-time as the other gender. So, ibig sabihin, hindi pa masyadong naglaladlad or nagahayag ng totoong pagkatao, but mahalata mo na na isa siyang gay or lesbian halimbawa. Ba't nananatili lang siyang nakadamit pam lalaki uh, on the part of a gay at nananatiling nakadamit lang sa dapit pam babae in the, in, on the part of the uh, lesbian halimbawa. So, next we have queer, a term used to refer to lesbian, gay, and bisexual. Often also for the transgender people. So, some user queer as an alternative to gay in an effort to be more inclusive. Next, we have gender queer. It is a term used by some individuals who identify as neither entirely male or entirely female. 
gender non-conforming. It is a term for individuals whose gender expression is different from social expectations related to gender. The next, we have bigendered, one who has a significant gender identity that encompass both genders male and female. Some may feel that one side or the other is stronger, but both sides are there. The next, as we have mentioned about SOGI bill a while ago, so ang SOGI bill, it is an abbreviation for sexual orientation and gender identity and expression. Ito yung bill na nakapending sa uh, kongreso. So, SOGI is a significant piece of identity that can define who we are and influence our needs and experience. So, this is on the part of the, uh, sa, sa Pilipinas kasi, yung culture natin nananatiling backward yan. Backward. Okay? In many parts of the country. Kasi nga naman, uh, sa Pilipinas, we are still conservative pagdating sa mga bagay na ito. Ang dami pa hindi open-minded ano, pagdating sa mga bagay na ito. Pagdating sa mga gay, pagdating sa mga lesbians, transpinay and transpinay. Kasi nga, we are a Christian country. So, ang daming hindi open-minded. So, hindi naman natin sila pwedeng uh, uh, pilitin, lalo na napaka-religious natin. Ano? So, but then again, ito ay naipasa lang naman at until now, ito ay nakabinbin, nakapending pa, kung ito ay aproban ba sa, sa House of Congress dito sa bansa natin. Next, in our society now, we have the LGBT community. So, hindi lang naman ito sa Pilipinas, but around the world, ano, may LGBT community. Ito ay binubo ng mga lesbians, gays, bisexuals, and transgender. Ito ay isang collective term for the community of diverse sexualities. So, ang tawag dyan ay LGBT community. Samahan ng mga lesbians, gays, bisexuals, and transgender. So, sa Pilipinas, ang LGBT community, ito ay galing sa pre-colonial, ano, babaylands na nagdadamit pang babae na sila naman pala ay totoong lalaki who dress as women in their performance of their role as spiritual leaders. So, yan yung origin. Then in 1980s, malayang kilusan, uh, na, malayang kilusan ng bagong kababaihan or makibaka Release a position paper acknowledging gender and sexuality issues as part of the women's and national liberation movement. In 1990s, dito na nag-start, dito na din na yung LGBT consciousness emerged more strongly. The outlawed Communist Party of the Philippines, or ang CPP, was first in recognizing the LGBT when it came out with policy documents the recognizing the right of every individual to choose kung ano sila kung ano yung gender nila that was in 1992 so um, from uh, this uh, uh, policy ito na yung, uh, yung political activism of the LGBT community with the formation of the progressive organization of gays and the lesbian collective so, until now, ano, ay, uh, patuloy na ang LGBT community ay patuloy na nakikibaka sa kung ano man yung uh, uh, ninanais nilang maging patas na karapatan for them. So, just like in the case of Jennifer Laude and Joseph Pemberton Scott, si Jennifer Laude ay isang uh, trans woman. So, siya ay pinatay nitong uh, si uh, Pemberton na uh, si Pemberton ay nahatulang guilty ng uh, Supreme Court and then uh, siya ay na deport pabalik sa kanyang bansa so dito let nagising yung uh, kamalayan ng mga member ng LGBT community na dapat ay uh, may uh, yung kanilang pinaglalaban na pantay-pantay na karapatan para sa kanila Siyempre, sila din ay isang uh, sila din ay mga tao na dapat uh, tratuhin ng maayos, ng mabuti ano, ng uh, society kahit ano pa man sila. So, yan yung pinaglalaban ng mga member ng LGBT uh, community. 
Next is the LGBT rights violation. So actually, um, makikita ito sa saligang batas natin in Article 2, Section 11. Article 3, Section 1, the right to life ng isang individual. So lahat naman nito ay uh, sakop ng batas na ito na dapat protektahan yung buhay, respeto yung buhay, ano, yung right to life, liberty and property. So kahit hindi naman in-specify ng, ng batas na yan, lahat yan ay uh, sakop tayo yan. Lahat ng individual, lahat ng tao sakop ng karapatan na yan. So, uh, we have here the inclusion of gender minorities. So, example niyan is si Aisa Seguera and Lisa Dijo na nagpakasal sa United States kasi ang same-sex marriage doon ay legal. But then sa atin, kasi napaka-conservative natin mga Pilipino, ay wala pang uh, batas na naglilegalize sa uh, same-sex marriage. So, that ends our discussion class for uh, this lesson. Thank you and God bless.